sack boy is about to take his souffle out of the oven. Uh, but the last one didn't come out so well. So this time he's sending in a sack bot. Or rather, you are. That's right. Using a touch cursor, you can make a sackbot follow your finger anywhere in your scene. First of all, a touch cursor only works when it's placed on a controllinator, like this one. Now, get a touch cursor. You can find one under Advanced Logic in your tools bag. Place it on the Controllinator circuit board, like so. Get on board that Controllinator, but... Now, here's a quality tip. You could tweak it to be a receiver controlled by the player. Then Sackboy doesn't need to get into it. Now, open your touch cursor and let's tag it. Get a tag from your tools bag. A green one will be perfect. That's the style. Tweak the touch cursor and you'll see there's oodles of options. You can choose which touch interface to use, touch screen, rear touch pad, one or the other, you decide. Have a faff on with it. Now, we want this sackbot to heed the lure of the touch cursor. Tweak the sackbot and set it to follow waypoint, in particular, green ones. That's it. OK, unto the breach, dear Sackbot. Well, unto the kitchen. First, the cursor triggers the kitchen door. Then our trusty Sackbot bounces upwards. And finally, to the souffle. Oh, my. Well, it's cheese and crackers again, then.